Hi friends today i am going to teach you regarding the mixed germ cell tumor of the testes that include embryonal plus yolk sac carcinoma component now before starting the discussion you should be familiar with the classification of the testicular tumor the testicular tumor usually divides into two major categories the one is germ cell tumor and another one is sac cord stromal tumors most of the testicular tumors are the germ cell tumor around 95% are the germ cell tumors now which are the common germ cell tumors the most common one is the seminoma that usually presents in the young age group patient and another group of germ cell tumors are the non seminomatous germ cell tumors that include choriocarcinoma teratoma embryonal carcinoma and the yolk sac carcinoma So our case was the embryonal carcinoma plus the yolk sac carcinoma mixed germ cell tumor that was an, under the classification of non seminomatous germ cell tumors now you should be familiar with the prevalence of testicular tumor in particular age groups you have to remember that embryonal carcinoma usually occurs in the young age group that is between the 20 to 30 year of age group while yolk sac tumor usually presents below 5 year of age group so if yolk sac carcinoma found in the young age patient then it can be the component of embryonal carcinoma so let's start the discussion in the detail now we have received the testes with the growth so you can able to see the large diffuse growth here the large diffuse growth was present and there were also present of hemorrhagic and necrotic areas as well we have given the section from the different representative areas and we have analyzed the sex we have analyzed the images and the details i would like to tell you that patient age was 20 years and his alpha fetoprotein level were elevated excessively so that findings are in favor of yolk sac plus embryonal now let's start the discussion first of all during our analysis we have observed the microcystic reticular patterns so these are the microcystic reticular patterns uh, that were present in the low power view so that is suggestive of yolk sac carcinoma then we have analyzed the other fields uh, during our analysis we have found that uh, there was present of one body that is killer dual bodies that is suggestive of yolk sac carcinoma what is it is the perivascular arrangement of the cuboidal malignant cell this is the scular dual bodies the perivascular arrangement of cuboidal malignant cells now during analysis uh, we have observed that uh, there were present of large pleomorphic cells these are the large pleomorphic cells uh, they are very anaplastic and showing the prominent pleomorphism high degree of pleomorphism the cell borders were were indistinct uh, these are such type of cells in the high power we have seen the prominent nucleoli as well in the some cells so all that features are suggestive suggestive of the embryonal carcinoma of the testes now during analysis or during observation of other fields we have found that there were present of necrotic areas as well so these are the necrotic areas with inflammation the necrotic areas particularly seen in the embryonal carcinoma now this was a high power view showing the scular dual body again now you should be familiar with the certain patterns of the uh, yolk sac and embryonal tumors So in the yolk sac tumor usually the patterns can be solid it can be glandular it can be microcystic reticular it can be alveolar pattern it can be papillary it can be hepatoid it can be myxoid spindle cells etc various patterns can be seen now if it is the embryonal carcinoma then patterns can be solid seeds glandular papillary diffuse embryoma pattern or solid seed patterns in our case the pattern was microcystic reticular uh, that was suggestive of yolk sac carcinoma and there were present of seeds as well as diffuse embryoma cells as well 
that was suggesting of embryonal carcinoma uh, this is again the diffuse embryoma pattern that is seen in the mixed embryonal plus yolk sac tumor so this is the embryoma pattern that is suggestive of mixed embryonal germ cell tumor diffuse embryoma pattern so in fact uh, we were in confusion in giving the diagnosis actually after lots of discussion we both pathologists have given the diagnosis of mixed germ cell tumor that is embryonal plus yolk sac tumor uh, that was done by clinical correlation and observing the various fields so that was our final diagnosis uh, that was mixed germ cell tumor embryonal plus yolk sac carcinoma so hope my video will be beneficial to you in making this rare diagnosis whenever you encounter such case if you like my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever i am posting the new interesting cases uh, thank you very much